Well, let's take a look at uh, see what's been happening at uh, other universities. While some seemed normal, uh, others were more violent. Despite the court interdict, the hashtag fees must fall movement brought lectures to a standstill at two Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University campuses. Classes were scheduled to commence after a four-week shutdown. Clashes ensued when protesting students insisted that no one would attend lectures. Academic staff marched, calling for the resumption of classes. It's in the best interest of all our students, including those that are protesting for us to go back. They need to complete the academic year and our time is running out. They've got to go back today. They were met head on by protesting students as police moved in more tear gas and rubber bullets. As much as the court interdict is there, but we want free education because we were promised free education 1994. Freedom Charter was there. Now it's, it's been how many years after 1994? Instead, the fees are going up instead of decreasing. So the government is the problem here. We are trying to appeal to government. The Central University of Technology in Bloemfontein once again suspended all academic activities. This follows sporadic clashes between police and students at various campuses. Police dispersed students who attempted to disrupt lectures. Classes resumed at Seven Soul Plucky University after a three-week closure. Seven students arrested on Monday were released on 500 rand bail. In Cape Town, classes remain suspended at CPUT. Contact classes and assessments have been moved off campus to a nearby military base. Classes also remain suspended at the University of the Western Cape. Meanwhile, the ANC is awaiting a report by a task team looking at the fees crisis. We've given this task team yesterday homework to go and do and we've said come back to us immediately this week with something that the students can feel that we've heard them, we've not just listened, but we've also heard what they had to say. The report is expected on Friday. Well, the finance minister, Praveen Gu